Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a very interesting equation with complex numbers. We have i, which is our imaginary unit, raised to a power z, which is a complex number, and we get a 2 at the end. Now, if you switch the z and the 2 around, you would get i squared equals z, which is negative 1. That would be super easy. But when z is in the exponent, it's a very different story. Let's go ahead and find out if this problem can be solved and what the answer is going to look like. I'm also going to be sharing some results from Wolfram Alpha. Okay, so let's proceed. We have i to the power z equals 2, and we're going to solve for z. Now, when you have a number like this, you can definitely write it as follows. You can write i to the power z as e to the power z ln i equals 2. So our goal here is basically to write both sides as an exponential so that we can do the natural log and get rid of all the bases and just solve it like normal, right? Because this is exponential, we want to turn it into something kind of more linear, all right? So here's a couple of things we need to do. First of all, we need to evaluate L and I. What is the natural log of a complex number? So let's go ahead and talk about that real quick. So the natural log of a complex number Z can be defined as the natural log of its absolute value, which is a real valued log, by the way, plus I times the argument of that complex number Z. Great. So we can go ahead and evaluate ln i this way. Since the modulus or absolute value of i is 1, it's just going to be ln 1. And by the way, ln 1 is 0, right? In the real world, of course. And then in the complex world, it's definitely a different thing. And then argument can be found on the argon plane easily. i is right here. Modulus is 1. And the argument is just going to be pi over 2 radians because that makes a 90 degree angle, right? Okay, great. So we have i times pi over 2. But pi over 2 is only the principal value. So you're, you're allowed to make rotations. So you can kind of add a 2 pi to this, and it's going to bring you to the exact same point, right? It's going to be a different argument, but the value at the end is still going to be i. So make sure, to, um, make sure I clarify that. So in other words, uh, we can write this in general by adding a 2 pi n to the principal argument. And that's going to give us all possible values if n is an integer. Make sense? Great. So that's the general solution. Well, not really. It's just ln i. So don't get too excited. ln i is i times pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. Now, if I replace n with 0, I get the principal value for the, uh, for the natural log of i. By the way, notice that natural log of i is divisible by i. I don't know if that makes sense. In other words, ln i over i is real. Isn't that interesting? Like an imaginary divided by another imaginary makes a real. Okay, really, that's true. So now we're going to go ahead and plug that in, e to the power z ln i. But before we do that, let's go ahead and write the 2 as an exponential. I can write e to the power ln 2, right? I can replace 2 with that. And now we have a nice expression, z ln i equals ln 2 after natural logging both sides or just forgetting about the e's and focusing on the exponents. By the way, do we need to do the following? That would be a really good question because what happens is we can add more to this. Why? Because I can actually multiply this expression by e to the power 2 pi ki, make sense, which is 1. Well, we said that e to the power 0 is 1, right, in the real world. But in the complex world, you can write 1 in infinitely many ways using different arguments. Make sense? Okay. If k is 0, for example, this represents e to the power 0i, right? So that kind of gives us an additional 2 pi ki here, doesn't it? Now, here's the thing, though. In using ln i, I already used an additional integer here, right? So do I really need this type of thing? So let's go ahead and find out what this is going to turn into. 
First of all, I want to replace uh, ln i with what it is. ln i is going to be i times pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. And that's ln 2 plus 2 pi ki. And then we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by this. z equals ln 2 divided by i times pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. And then 2 pi k will be divided by. Now I want to simplify this a little bit. I can go ahead and make this as 4 pi plus 1. 4 pi plus 1. I don't think the pi is going to cancel out. That was my hope. So I guess I could probably leave it like that. Let me go ahead and write it this way. Whatever. Uh, I'm just going to write 2 pi n plus pi over 2. And then this will be multiplied by i. But there's an i at the bottom. So I can kind of multiply by negative i and put a minus sign here and it's all going to be good. Okay? So, looks like that should be the solution. But we have an i at the bottom here. Uh-oh. That should not be the case. Let me see. We divided l and i. Oh, yes. The, these i's are going to cancel out. Never mind. I messed up. There's no i here. And this should be a plus sign. Okay, here we go. So this is going to be the imaginary part, but I still need to do my, by, multiply by negative i. So this will be negative i ln 2. In other words, z can be written as 2 pi k divided by 2 pi n plus pi over 2 plus or minus, right? Minus ln 2 over pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. I don't know why I reversed that. Multiply by i. Do you like that? Now here's the thing. If n is equal to 0, right, we're going to get a pi over 2 from here. Pi's are going to cancel out, and we're going to get 4k for z, and then minus ln 2 divided by pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. But I already said uh, n equals 0, so it's just going to be like that. And anyway, I can go ahead and flip this. So write the z as 4k minus... 2 ln 2 over pi multiplied by i. And of course, you can write it as ln 4 too. No big deal. It's pretty much the same thing. So it looks like this is a simple, simpler version. So here's the million dollar question. Do I really need n or do I need k? Or do I need both? What do you think? Let's go ahead and take a look at the result from Wolfram Alpha. And then we'll briefly talk about it. We'll come back to this, okay? All right. Let's put a little note, smiley face there. And Wolfram Alpha says, if I have it, I hope I included it. Okay, there you go. Now, if you go ahead and distribute this, you're going to get 4 pi n. Pi is going to cancel out. You're going to get 4 n, right? Minus 2 log. Unfortunately, log 2, uh, Wolfram Alpha means ln 2. So it's going to be 2 ln 2 divided by pi multiplied by i. Does that look like our expression? Let's go back and check it out. Or you can do the checking, I guess. They should be the same, right? 4k to ln 2 over pi, 4n minus 2 ln 2 over pi, all multiplied by i. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.